Good evening, friends. Welcome back to my channel, Infinite Trade. My name is Robin, and let's do an FT and Bank Nifty analysis for tomorrow. So I hope uh, <clears throat> a lot of people have already seen uh, the learning video that I posted, and also I was sharing during the live market how those levels work, and I hope people are impressed and you know comfortable in understanding what exactly was happening in the market, and. Uh, one more thing is uh, last night I posted the analysis video and the views were pathetic. Uh, so I know it is one of my mistake that I'm posting the videos late. Uh, but you know, these days I'm trying to post videos that are lesser than 10 minutes. So take some time and try watching those videos because that could help you a lot in your day-to-day -day trading activities. So one fine example I want to give you, this is especially for the people who did not watch the video. I'm going to play a small clip of my video. Okay. So this was the PDL. So normally what happens is I have seen a lot of big traders who say that if the market opens flat and if it breaks the pre previous day low, then you go for a put trade. But just listen to what I said in my video. I'm just playing that for a few seconds. Okay, so this is what I wanted to tell you. So exactly the same thing happened. Market broke this particular low, which was the previous day low, and immediately returned back on the same candle itself. And I said, your target should be somewhere close to 21,700, and easily it went all the way up to 21,750. So this line is idly the target around 21,726, but I gave you a nominal target as of a round number. So imagine you already get an entry at 600 and you exit at 700. Um, and since a lot of people have watched the learning video, you would have understood why Nifty was a bit of a, in a sideways situation, unlike Bank Nifty. Bank Nifty showed sharp moves, uh, both on the upside and the downside. But the only reason was the inducement level. In Nifty, you can see that this is, a little bit bigger level hence it you know chose to do a uh, time pass or be a little sideways but bank nifty was pretty good okay it exactly worked the way we thought so what i told you in bank nifty was uh, we had a line here uh where was the line this side and i told you that we have already closed above the inducement level and tomorrow market, if it opens flat or slightly gap up, it will hold the level and try to go on the upside. We decided that the target should be close to 45,200, but it went all the way up to 45,750 in the second half. So first time it went all the way to 45,400, that gave a sharp dip. So this dip, I uh, told you how to capture this. And again, the call entry was also something that I showed you. Okay, so I hope uh, you people do understand uh, the logic that I uh, tried to share last night with you. Okay, so since the videos, if I put anything late, you don't watch, I thought of putting the analysis video right now. So what we'll do is we'll quickly check out the data and we'll see how the market performs tomorrow. So FIs added about 5,695 future longs today and created about 1,600 future shorts today. Uh, the net numbers of the options are call long. And uh, see, this is what I was telling you. Why we were expecting an inside candle, though it was not an inside candle, we reached the PDH with a slight margin. But almost what we decided yesterday, market did the same thing. Okay, so why did we thought that, you know, the market could go up? The only reason was the proprietary risk 
uh, they had too much of call shots. We saw that the number was close to 7, 8 lakhs. See what happened today? They closed almost 7, like 88,000 call shots. And this was the reason why we saw the sudden spike in Bank Nifty and Fin Nifty. So keep this uh, in your mind, you know, permanently that whenever you see pro traders, uh, you know, taking positions more than five, six lakhs. Okay. And next day they will definitely cover. So that is what uh, we were planning actually. So right now they have uh, put shorts in place and uh, FS did not have anything, any significant position. So maybe they'll create it tomorrow uh, for the bank if it is expiring. Okay. So we'll come back on our charts and see how do we trade now. So this is the resistance that we have. So I'm just going to extend this uh, so that it is visible for me tomorrow also. And uh, oh my God, why this is not getting highlighted? Mm, okay, cool. So this yellow line is nothing, but uh, this is a fair value gap. Okay. So I keep this fair value gap also because that also acts as a resistance and very simple now uh, so i'm plotting all the lines right now in front of you so that uh, you know whatever you learned yesterday it also gets registered properly in your mind so this is the inducement level why because see this is the highest high that we have and then that low is broken so that means it tried to took a pullback and then immediately broke the high. So this is the last high. So after this, we cannot mark anything, but this is my uh, five minutes inducement level. I just type here that it is my five minutes inducement level. So right now we are already trading below that. Okay. So you need to find the next level. Next level is the next pullback level is what you look at. So the next pullback level happens to be somewhere here. Okay, so this becomes my higher low or uh, you can call it as a support or a pullback. So this is at 45 to 30. And uh, if you want to see where is the next level, obviously it comes somewhere here. So these are the supports that we have in the market. So tomorrow what we'll do is, uh, since Pro is bullish, they have put shots, FIs do not have any positions. So we need to see where the market opens, okay? Again, in case if we open, say, somewhere within this place, so these are resistance. So resistance, I have a very simple logic that I wait for a red candle to form here. And as soon as the red candle's low is broken, I take a put trade. Your first target is definitely the gap. <clears throat> so that is somewhere close to 45,400. Okay. And uh, whenever it is again coming back below the uh, inducement, that is an added advantage that uh, that is a trend confirmation that the bank nifty is trying to go down. Okay, and in case if we see anything on the higher swings, we obviously shift the inducement on the higher side and the logic remains the same. Whenever you see a small inducement happening, you try to take a reversal trade. Okay, what are the targets? These are the targets that we already have. Okay, when will Bank Nifty get bearish? That information you can find it on the daily chart. See, if you look at the daily chart, uh, this is the situation at the moment. We saw this red candle uh, yesterday. Today, we opened a light gap up and we went all the way high and broke this high. So whenever I told you that if we break the previous candles high, that means market is trying to take a pullback. So when do you mark this level as a pullback? Only when this red candles low is broken but since this red candles high is broken this low becomes your support okay whenever this support is breached then the market is going to fall down like anything 
So this is what you need to understand. So quickly, uh, let me summarize. What is the trade that we are going to take in Bank Nifty? Uh, any gap up opening around this place, we are going to look for a put. What is the reason behind that? Put shots from pros. So obviously they'll book. And second, we do not see any significant positions from FIs. So obviously they'll create some positions and even pros would take time to understand what exactly are the positions that they are trying to take. So put trade around this place, even if it is opening flat, slight gap up, anything, uh, we are expecting a dip. Okay. Because when there is a dip, only when then uh, the FIs will enter in the uh, long side. Coming back to Nifty. Nifty, what we'll do is uh, we'll change the lines. Okay. Uh, okay. So Nifty went like this. So I am removing this line also. And I'm putting an inducement line here because this was my last inducement. And Nifty is trading above that. IDM 5. I hope you're getting the point why this is, uh, once again, this cannot be the last inducement because this both of them are inside candles. Okay, this is an important point. So whenever you see an inside candle, that is not your uh, pullback, okay? So this can be considered as continuously going higher. So only if the this particular green candle's low was broken, then this line is valid but not right now. So we'll have to shift a little this side. So I'm gonna pull this to here. And yeah. So this is my inducement level. That means market already took inducement and it is trading in the uh, positive range. So all that you do is now you just mark a uh, PDH line. So whenever Nifty breaks the PDH, that means it is breaking the resistance, it is bullish. Then where can it go? The next level we have somewhere close to 21,820. Okay, so we'll extend this line until here. So not a very uh, strong place. I mean, not a strong place as in not a very decent target here. Uh, but when we break 820, then we could see some sharp moves coming until 21900 and so on and so forth. So right now what you do is tomorrow if we open here, don't trade Nifty. Nifty is sideways and it can remain sideways for some time. We can alternatively trade Bank Nifty and it's, since it's Bank Nifty's expiry, that could be more interesting. Okay, And uh, we only trade nifty if it breaks this high then you can trade for this but this isn't an interesting area okay so we'll better trade bank nifty uh, nifty will just see if it is supporting bank nifty or how is it going but other than that i think i don't think so it's a very good place to trade because you can see already uh you know this level is acting as a resistance so the third time it goes here then again it will come down and then if it breaks out, is a different story altogether. So this is my view on Nifty and Bank Nifty for tomorrow. So Bank Nifty seems interesting. Let's look at Bank Nifty and trade tomorrow. And Nifty, we just watch it if it's supporting Bank Nifty or not. So this is my view on Nifty and Bank Nifty for tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Let's meet in another video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.